nandito kami sa Punta Engaño at papunta kami sa bahay nila, Jane Lee, upang gumawa ng chemical balancing tutorial! So, ano pa yung naintay natin? But before that, we're gonna explain what is chemical equation and balancing in chemistry. A chemical equation is a symbolic representation of a chemical reaction in the form of symbols and formula, wherein the reactant entities are given on the left-hand side and the product entities on the right-hand side. A balance equation is an equation for a chemical reaction in which the number of atoms for each element in the reaction and the total charge is the same for both the reactants and the products also known as balancing the equation. So, what are we waiting for? Atoms! So now, I will show you three easy steps in how to balance chemical equation. But first, we will identify what part is the reactant side and the product side. So the Sa plus O2 is the reactant side. And the SO2 is the product side. So now, we will proceed to step 1. So first, Count the atoms in each side of the equation. So we will write S, S and O. So count each type of atom. Sulfur, I have A. Uh, on the product side, sulfur, I have 1. And oxygen, I have two. Note that if there's nothing after an element, we assume to be one. And that's it. We're done with the first step. Step two. The big rule for balancing equation is that we can only change the coefficients. Those are numbers in front of the atoms. And it cannot be changed. So let's balance the equation by changing the coefficients. If there's no coefficient written, we assume that it's 1. So right now, there's a 1 in front of each of these terms. We can see that we have two oxygens on each side of the equation. So the oxygen is fine. But the sulfur atoms, we have 8 on the left side, the reactants, and only 1 on the right. To fix that, I can change the coefficient in front of the sulfur on the right and make that 8. So, if I put in here, that means 8 times 1 equals 8. Now, my sulfurs on both sides are equals. But this 8 here is also times 2 in oxygens and that gives me 16 so I fixed the sulfurs but the oxygens aren't balanced 
I can change the coefficient here to 8. So, 8 times 2 equals 16. Now, I have 8 sulfurs and each side and 16 oxygens in each side of the equation. This equation is now balanced. And now, you're still doubt about your answer. But, you can proceed it in finding the molar mass or the atomic weight. So first, we will find the atomic weight of sulfur. The atomic weight of sulfur is 32. And we will multiply it by 8 since the subscript of sulfur is 8. So, we will find the product using the scientific calculator. So, 32 times 8, we will get the answer of 256. And the unit of this is grams per mole. So next, we will find the atomic mass of the oxygen. We will solve it separately since it is separated by the addition sign. So the oxygen is, the atomic weight is 16. And we will multiply it by 16 since we will multiply the coefficient in the subscript. So 8 times 2 is equal to 16. So 16 times 16, 256. 256 grams per mole. So, in this side, in this product side, we will also salt it. In the sulfur, the atomic mass of sulfur is 32. And the coefficient of the sulfur is 8 and the subscript is 1. So, 8 times 1 is 8 and we will get 256 grams per mole and the oxygen which is 16 the atomic weight so we will multiply it again the coefficient and the subscript so 8 times 2 is 16 and 16 times 16 is 256 grams per mole. And you will get the total of each side. So, 256 plus 256, you will get 512 grams per mole. And 500 grams per mole. And that's it. You can see that your answers is valid. And now, let's try another problem. H2 plus O2 the product is H2 O. So, in this equation, we have two hydrogens, two oxygens, over here is two hydrogens, and one oxygen. How about, let's see, I'll put two right here. So, that's H, O, H, O. <coughs> two, 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 and one. So, this two times two, that gives me four hydrogens. And two times one, 
equals to oxygens. So now, my oxygens are balanced. Now, but my hydrogen is messed up. What I can do here is put 2 in front of hydrogen. And now, 2 times 2 equals 4. And now, the atoms on each side of the equation are the same. Hydrogen is 4. And oxygen is 2. This is this equation is now balanced. And now, let's try another problem. Next is SiCl4 plus H2O. And the product side is H4 SiO4 plus HCl. So Si is 1, Cl is 4, H is 2, well one, O is 1. And the product side, since there are two hydrogens, so we will add it. 4 and the 1 hydrogen, since it does not contain any number, we will assume that it has 1. So 4 plus 1 equals 5. Si is 1, O4. Four, then Cl1. So, how about we will put 2 in this. So, it will 2 times 2 equals 4. And we will put another 4 in 4 H so 4 times 4 I mean 4 plus 4 is 8 4 plus 4 equals 8 so 4 and 8 is not balanced so we will change it by 4 so 4 times 2 equals 8 so now it's balanced now since 4 is not only affected by H it will also times by Cl. So 4 times 1 since it has, we will assume that it has 1. So 4 times 1 equals 4. And now it's balanced. And in the oxygen, in this reactant side, since it has 4, it will affect in 4. So I mean in oxygen. So 4 times 1. Plus four. Now it's balanced. So we can see that the Si has one, Cl is four, hydrogen is eight, and oxygen is four. So this equation is now. Now balanced. let's proceed to another problem. So we have FeCl two plus Na three PO four, and the product side is Fe three. PO4 with 2 then Na plus NaCl. So the Fe is 1 Cl is 2 Na is 3 P is 1 and O is 4. And the product side Fe is 3 and since it has a close and open parenthesis, you will substitute the 2 by P and O. So, 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 4 is 8. And Na is 1, Cl is 1. So, now... Let, since the Fe is 3 in the product side, we will put 3 in the reactant side. So, it will become 1 times 3 equals 3. So, now it's balanced. In the Cl side, since 3 also affect the Cl, so 3 times 2 equals 6. 
and the CL in this side is just 1. So we will put 6 in there. So 6 times 1 equals 6. So it's balanced. Let's proceed to NA. NA, since in this side, in the product side, 6 affects NA. So it will become 6. And in the reactant side, we can put 2 in this side. So the product will come up into 6. So now it's balance. Next is the P. So next, since 2 affects in this all elements include in this side, so 2 times 1 is 2. And in this side, so it's now it's 2. I mean in this side. In the reactant side rather. So now it's balanced. So in the 4, in the oxygen, since it also affects in 2, so 2 times 4 plus 8. So the Fe is 3, it's balanced. Cl is 6, Na is 6, E is 2, and oxygen is 8. Now, our equation is balanced. And the last example, NH4 2 Cr2 S7 with the product of Cr2 S Three S plus N two plus H two S. So first, so the N is since it has it it must be substituted to this two elements. So two times one is two, and two times four is eight. Cr is two and S is seven. In this side, N is 2, H is 2, CR is 2, and S3 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So, as we can see that N is fine, H is not, CR is fine, and S is not. So, let's try if we put this here a 4. So, 4 times 2 in H equals to 8. Now, it's balanced. Now, this 4, as we all know that this 4 is not only affect in hydrogen, so we will multiply this in also in S. So, 4 times 1 is 4. So, 4. And as we all know that it has only S in this side. So, 4 plus 3 equals 7. Now, it's balanced. In N, I, I mean, all elements is balanced now. So, N is 2, H is 8, CR is 2, and S is 7. So, this equation is now balance now in this five examples i hope that now you know how to balance chemical equations so we hope you learn from our tutorial so hanggang sa sunod na ngayon kita kita tapuhon need